Hi there, I've uh, been really looking forward to this one. In this box, just arrived from Games Law, is Ivor the Engine, um, designed by Tony Boydell, um, with art by the original artist of Ivor the Engine, Peter Furman, fantastic, uh, with also art by Clemens Friends and Charlie Paul, and it's published by uh, Surprise Stair Games, and it plays three to five players, so you need a minimum of three players to play, up to five players in 60 minutes. So let's have a look at uh, the Ivo the engine. Of course, it's done by Tony Boydell, um, the designer of uh, Snowdonia, which is one of our very favourite games. Amazing game, Snowdonia. So same designer here and same design company. Ivo the engine, no less. Right, there we go. Um, and the Estevian Games, which um, are the big distributor of games, aren't they, in the UK? Game by Tony Boydell, 2014, Small Films Limited, and Peter Furman as the copyright. Peter Furman being the original artist. Contains sheep, uh, like the little Agricola sheep. And again, just straight off, what brilliant artwork. You got Idris the Dragon there, the Welsh Dragon. The Welsh Dragon. Is it Jones the Steam? Um, they've all got they're all called names after the after the jobs they do, aren't they? And uh, it says help Ivor to collect up lost sheep and to complete tasks for his friends. You get extra rewards for clearing sheep from each area and bonuses for events from the Ivor stories. The player with the most sheep at the end of the game is the winner. A fun game for all the family, and that's what we've got it for. We've got it for the family to try and bring. We've only got a few games where we can start to bring in the younger. Uh, members of our family and this is hopefully with a bit of help they'll um, they'll get to to, uh, to learn and play this game I'm going to try it on them this evening um, I'm hoping that's I mean that's the plan because but like me and the, the Mrs Donna who's filming now has said we've got to if we've got to really enjoy it as well so if we enjoy the game and they enjoy the game everybody's having some fun because some we do play some games with them that can be a bit of a hard work can't they yeah so, um, but you know, hopefully, uh, I love you got that lovely box smell, and you got a little Ivo the engine with Jones standing next next to the train on the back, and a lovely game board. There we go, and it's got stuff from the series in there, the Grumbly Gas Works, that and Grumbly Town, yeah, Post Office Crossing, Halt. Towen Beach, Pew's Farm, Ivers Shed, Signal Box, Cleniog, I think. Yeah, so there we go. I'm not even going to try and pronounce them all. Mrs. Porty's House, Pew's Pit. We've got the lovely railway tracks linking stuff out. There we go. I'll flatten that out a bit in it later. So I've the engine. So what have we got here? So this sheet has practically punched itself. You've got uh, little finger baggies there and falling out, which is good. No torn cardboard. I mean, look, <laughs> pre-punched. So the youngest player gets the eyeball button token. That'll be Sammy uh, for the start player, just to, as a marker of who went and started. You've got some... Uh, Missing one turn, that's the Idris little dragon tokens. Then we've got the player carriages, red, orange, purple, black, and like a cream, yellowy cream colour. And we've got these other tokens with sheep on them. And these get put out on the board. Um, and we've got some runaway sheep tokens. There we go. And look at this nice big bag of wooden bits. There we go, quite a lot here. 
We've got the nice big chunky pieces of coal, wooden coal tokens. They go on the board there. And we've got the sheep, just like the Agricola sheep or whatever. Nice, nice sheep, lots of them. I think these are uh, packs of sheep counted as the square white, nice different square, square blocks. And we've got cubes of gold. Surprising what you find in well shells. There we go. Cubes of gold there also. Um, we got a little leaflet and the Ivo the Engine rule book, which I have looked at the digital rules that are up on board Game Geek. Oh, look at that on the back. What a great picture. There we go. And got the deck of cards here now. And from what I've seen, these got a nice clean look to them. Let's have a look. So, Ivor the engine. Oh, these are the people's sleep, uh, sheep pens, aren't they? Yes, there's five of them, one for each player in the player colours. Cream, red, purple, orange and black. And there's the detailed side for beginners and once you know the game you've got the largest sheet pens here. And then we've got the cards themselves. Let's have a look at some of this work. Look at the artwork on these. Grumley Gas Works, fantastic artwork. Oh, I'm going to have to sleeve these cards, just to, especially with the kids playing with them. Amazing artwork. We've got Ivers Shed in the Snow here. Lovely clean artwork. There's like a Christmas scene here, the snowman, the Grumbly Town. I can see this being a, a right collector's piece, this game, in the future. There we go, amazing artwork. Look, there he is at the top of the volcano. Um, They've got little storeways, uh, little storeways, little stories at the bottom of the cards. Some of them. We got beach. Just a flavour of the cards here. Fantastic artwork. There's a lot of time been spent on these. Really nice. So there we go. The cards, all the wooden bits, the sheet, the pens, the tokens. Fabulous box and uh, nice printed colour rules and some baggies. That is Ivo the Engine.